Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Programming with Chrono. Today, we are not going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the program because that was boring last time, and this program is far too complicated and far too long to do that in any form of reasonable amount of time. So I'm just going to cover what the program does, why it does it, and how to run it. As you can see, my turtle here just built a wall. Now, why would it just build a wall? Well, that's because of this wall back here. As you can see, it's pretty much natural. So we have a whole bunch of ores, a whole bunch of different types of stone, and a little bit of dirt in there. And to make things look nice, I want it to look like a nice, smooth, clean wall. Well, I could sit there and futz with, you know, fighting with the hover function on the jetpack or just tearing down the wall entirely and replacing it or just building a new wall in front of it. But, uh... I'm far too lazy for that. So I taught my turtle to do it for me. As we can see, it's just now finishing up. I mean, it's still got, uh, what, a line and a half left to do, but it's finishing up doing its thing, cleaning up a wall for me. And as we can see, it doesn't keep the items in the inventory. I feel like I should emphasize this, that it doesn't keep the items in its inventory because I figured it was best to keep as many items that we want to build with as possible in the turtle so it doesn't have to refuel restock as often now there's also something special about this particular program it's also the first program that i have ever written that takes into account fuel requirements now before when i programmed with the turtles I just always assumed that I would sit there, you know, in the nether, refueling the turtle and having, like, millions of fuel. Well, I can't do that anymore because of the built-in fuel limitation in computer craft. So I have to take that into account, and so I did. So if this turtle runs out of inventory space, it will go home and ask for more blocks. If it runs out of fuel, it will go home and ask for fuel. And as you can see, since it's finished, it is now going home and finishing. So how do we run this wall program? Well, you take your turtle and you put it down, you know, at the beginning of your wall in one of the corners, one of the lower corners. And then you go and you have to download the wall program. So paste bin get and the code is RZ 2 X K D I R. And then we just call it something local, like, say, wall, to make life easy. And it downloads the program for you. So you know you don't have to code this yourself. You don't have to worry about that. Then you take your block of choice. You can use any block except for blocks that fall, like gravel or sand. So any block will work. I've been using cobblestone since it's nice and easy to mine back down for testing purposes. And we put it in the inventory. Now we can fill this up as much as we want. As long as it's the same block, the program will look in the first slot and determine that that is the block it's working with. If any other blocks are in the inventory, it will not place those blocks. It will only work from that point on with that one type of block. So if I put basalt in slot number two, it will place the cobblestone until it runs out. And then it will come back and ask for more cobblestone because it won't use the basalt. So if you're tearing out a wall like I will be doing, you don't have to worry about something else filling up the inventory spaces and it using that something else instead of what it's supposed to be using. All right, so how do we use the program? Well, we call it with wall. Then we tell it the dimensions of the wall we want to use using over first and then up, just like in math. So let's say we want this wall to be nine wide by five tall and then we tell it which direction we want the wall to go in so in this case since we built one to the left before let's build one to the right Boop. and then it will go off and it will build its wall and as we can see it started on its eighth row but then stopped and if we look at our turtle, we can see that it is out of items. So what we would have to do is put more cobble into the machine, 
which of course I don't have on me at the time, at this time. So let's clear out something and get some more cobble in there. And we'll put some the new cobblestone in there. We'll press any key and it will go off back to where it left off and finish its wall. Now the turtle will also do that if it runs out of fuel. It will return home, its original position, and it will ask for fuel. So what you can do is you can put any burnable fuel, like coal or blaze rods or anything, into its inventory, and it will burn anything that's in its inventory. Now why did I do that? Why did I make it burn anything that's in the inventory? Because I don't like the built-in excavation program, which will only use one of the items that's possibly usable as fuel. I like the idea of being able to throw everything in there, it refuels a lot, and then it doesn't have to worry about coming back for a while. So that is the wall program in standard computer craft. You just need computer craft. There is no special mods that you need or anything interesting. You just need the newer version of computer craft. So basically the one you can download now and just download the program from Pastebin just like I showed. I will leave the link in the description so you don't have to worry about remembering it. You can just you know click on the link and go from there. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.